I was supposed to be walking all day, but I didn't. I lost track of time. Motherly duties. But we're going to see my beeper. Mm -hmm. I know no songs. Yes, you do. Everyone but says he actually only does a few from the new album. Everything else is old. No way. And I'm so excited. I'm going to sing my heart out. You oh. like banana peppers? Yeah, but I'm just trying to do the dressing itself. Like, I don't want anything to... Oh, that's feta cheese. <laughs> What? like Edna. Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. We don't have anything planned, but I told myself I would film, so I'm filming. What do you have? Oh, napkins? That's okay. Why is my hair never cooperating with me? I never cooperate, so I'm bald. Shave it off. <laughs> okay. What is this? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. 
In the meantime, I figured I would do a sit down video because I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long. It's gonna be impossible to um, keep Willow out of the frame. I'm gonna explain a little bit why in this video you guys haven't really seen her face or like updates on her but i think in this video it'll be a little bit inevitable so i hope you guys enjoy it's gonna be a little bit chaotic let's get started i will um call you in a few hours because we gotta do it today anyways so to start it off i'm going to be using elf putty primer gentle okay you can't throw that then you guys know me, I go in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to conceal all of my dark spots as usual. So pretty much as a life update, um, I have just not been feeling it. Like God, clear as day, told me to just take a big mental break from literally everything. Like a few weeks to maybe a few months where I didn't post on here, on TikTok, like Instagram, like nothing. And I was just like not feeling anything. And it felt good to not do anything because being a mom is a full time freaking job. Like they're not kidding when they say that. So yeah. I then go in with my Rare Beauty foundation in the shade 380W. I love the applicator to this foundation. It is incredible. And then TikTok taught me to set my face. I'm gonna use the matte mini setting spray from NYX that I love. I let that dry a little bit. And then I just go in and I pat it out. And like, look at that. So anyways, guys, the reason that you guys aren't really seeing Willow, um, cause I, you guys know how I do social media for me. And I always say this, I don't want to be those moms that use their children for exploitation. Cause there's tons out there. I was literally just reading articles like two days ago about like how creepy it is to just have your children all over social media. And I didn't want that. And me and Jay initially knew that we knew we didn't want her all over the place. Um, but unfortunately we have family that's all over the place and everyone wants an update and social media is just the easiest way because i'm not going to remember to text all of my family it's just not a thing so um the reason that i if you guys haven't noticed has ta have taken down so many pictures and videos and tiktoks of my daughter is because i was on facebook a girl that i went to high school with um, tagged me in a post and it was like, is this not your daughter? And it was a Facebook page making money off of like kids tantrums. And if you guys know the video of Willow um, and it's like, am I the drama? I can't be the drama. Um, and it was like, she was like, what? Three, four, three, four months. And she was still like very much a child, a baby. Um, and she was throwing like a fake tantrum because she wanted mommy's boobies. Like, you know, she didn't want to be with daddy. And this page pretty much categorized her with these children that were throwing themselves in Walmart and hitting their parents. And first of all, I feel like if you're not a parent, first of all, don't judge. Just don't because it's outside looking in, like you'll never understand. You will literally never understand unless you're a parent. But at the same time, also, my daughter was a baby. Like, don't even categorize her with these kids that are like seven and 10 years old. Just don't do it. It just, it pissed me off. And the page um, was a verified Facebook page that was pretty much exploiting other people's children and making money off of it. And it just didn't sit right with me. And the f like Willow was like the thumbnail. And it just, oh my god, just thinking about it now, like, it just pisses me off. Um, and I'm sure people are going to take this the wrong way and be like, well, so you can make money off of her, but other people can't. First of all, me posting my life is not me making money off of my child. She's a part of my life. She is my whole life, literally, her and her father. So I shouldn't be reprimanded for posting my child and posting about my life. If you don't want to see it, you don't want to see us, don't watch. It's that simple. Like, but it's disrespectful to take my content and use it for your own monetary gain. I think that's disgusting. And I think people who do that have a special place. And yeah, so I did email and I emailed, I instant message, I, I effing did everything. And 
my TikToks are set to not be downloaded, so like you can't hold it down and save it. Obviously, the only way to get a TikTok saved would be to screen record, which is what this person had to have done. I don't put disclaimers that you can't reuse my videos because I've seen my videos all over. I have videos even on YouTube of me and Jay. Um, yes, under interracial couples. Um, interracial couple pages and they use my stuff and I'm like, oh, that's really sweet. But that's also because I'm an adult, Jay's an adult. It's different. Don't post my daughter. Don't. That's disgusting. Don't do it. Oh, I'm in a rambling mood. This might not have been a good idea. But pretty much that was the gist of really what I wanted to talk to you guys about because I've gotten so many questions. Like, um, the next product that I use is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in a Satin Finish. I used to use the matte finish, but I'm not a fan of it anymore. And this is in the color medium beige. And a little bit here. But anyways, so yes, that has been a really, really big reason why you guys haven't seen Willow. And everyone always asks me like, where's Willow? How's Willow doing? Can we see Willow, blah, blah, blah. First of all, guys, my page is not Willow base. It never will be. Cause I just, I, I was who I am before Willow. And she's a big part of my life, so you guys will see her. But she's not gonna be what my whole page is about. I don't want my, um, income to be based off of my child and her appearance and who she is and who she's becoming I want to share things with you guys, but I also don't want you guys to overstep boundaries You know what someone told me to not tap so hard and here I am just Then I go on with my born to glow by NYX and the shade Mocha and I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender as well. Oh, I'm for sure getting copyrighted Okay, I'm not gonna talk for a while. I'm just gonna show you guys products and Mount Natasha. She comes first eyeliner today because it's an eyebrow pencil any other day it will not focus and I don't know why but I'm gonna use two NYX products one is a lip pencil and one is an eyebrow thingamabob so I forgot to film the end of my video so I guess that is it for today's video it wasn't really an update on life. It was more of a explanation as to why you guys don't see Willow since that is like my number one question. But like I said, she will be in the videos here and there. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right.